Ben for taking time out of I know you had a very busy few days here in Chicago. Yes, Thank you sir. for taking a little time um, out of your schedule um, to sit down with us. Um, before we get started, for those who don't know who you are, I guess they've been up under a rock, can you kind of let us know who you are and what you do? Well, I'm um, Brother Ben X, a student of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Um, I would like to call myself his spiritual son. Um, I just used the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad um, as taught to us by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan to put out knowledge, wisdom, and understanding by way of social media because I know that is a tool that can reach millions of people um, throughout the world. So I have many talents such as um, basketball, which is where I came from. I was an All-American basketball player. But after I heard the teachings, I kind of lost interest in playing basketball and got a um, more interest in seeing our people open their eyes. Um, I do skits, I do music. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I've been self-employed for four years now doing videos, social media marketing, social media branding, consulting, things of that nature. So I'm just a young brother who's trying to serve his people and put the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in a way that our people can digest it and understand. Praise to Allah. Thank you. Can you yes, share sir. with us a little bit of what you were doing in Chicago for the weekend? Well, Sister Lisa Muhammad and Brother uh, Clifton Muhammad with Project U, which pretty much represents uh, unity, I mean, youth organizing for unity. And they had me going around many places, working me all day long. Um, so on Friday, uh, I can't remember the day so far. I feel like I've been here two been weeks. Immersed, but, I, but I went and spoke at MUI, spoke to the boys and the girls, uh, spoke to them, just inspiring them to really understand the, the knowledge that we have and the wisdom that we have. Because I believe a lot of times since we kind of grew up into it sometimes or we had it for so long that we get comfortable and we know opposites attract, which is why we go out in the suits. But what about those of us who always had the truth? Our opposite is the streets. So a lot of us who have the truth we looking out at the streets and think you know maybe I need to live that way or we may see them with a lot of money or a new car and we think I want to live flashy that way when actually the brothers who live that lifestyle they look for it or they look up to us and they wish they would take the path that we're taking so just showing them how grateful that we should be and putting the mission back on their mind and try to inspire them to bring other youth to save his day of course to hear the man of God and I miss the Honorable Minister Louis Farrar come because whether you Muslim or not he has a universal message for us all and he is the one who is sounding off that trumpet I believe that is waking up the God within us so I spoke at MUI um, I went and spoke at uh, artist circle where we was in a uh, like pretty much a circle at the black mall with a bunch of artists and we was talking about the responsibility of artists and the influence that we have in fact the minister said that one rap song is worth a thousand lectures so if that is true and it is then we must begin to take accountability for the voice that we have we may not sign up to be a politician or sign up to be a leader but when we when we get into that kind of position as an artist we have influence over the youth they know our songs more than they know the minister's lectures they know our songs more than they know the pastor's lecture so it's on us to put the medicine in the dog food the minister said and put some wisdom in there to see our people rise so i spoke to the um uh, at the artist circle I also spoke at a rehearsal um, yesterday was a great event with a uh, man the increment um, I'm sorry not man BAM becoming a man and uh, that is basically a panel that I was on where we was uh, a bunch of brothers and we was talking to a group of students who was all young males and they was asking us different questions about fatherhood what is a man uh, how to deal with a father who left the home so I, I, you know it's just been a lot of work you know we've been putting in here and speaking to as much youth as possible to inspire them to really understand that you know we're not leaving you out you know we're not a generation that wants to be left out you know come on have a seat at the table and let's see what you have on your mind as well Praise to Allah. Thank you. So, what I'm doing Please explore the collective9.org website and subscribe to the newsletter. Explore the site and make sure you check out Web TV.